is your will, my master. What's up, Eric? A uh, quick demo video for you for your KR cross guard that I just finished up, right? Uh, this is installed with a Profi V2. You've got uh, three sets of CC sabers in here, so one in each quillion, and then one in your main blade down, uh, down there. So these are all just lit PCBs, but they're NeoPixel ready. Uh, two button setup, so your top switch, that's your activation, and then your bottom switch down here, that's your auxiliary. Um, I did put all the greeblies on here for you because you know this saber came to me. It was a bit unassembled. So we got all of these uh, pieces like this on here for you. Um, got all these clips on here, obviously. Got the wire on your pommel cap. And then, um, yeah, I got it all situated. Um, how you get to everything is you just want to come over here to this clip right here and pull your wire out. Just like that. And it disconnects from there. And then you can take your whole handle slide it counterclockwise and then pull it out uh, it is a bit tight but it's meant to be that way it'll slide out on you and then here is your chassis right it says uh kr cross guard it's kind of hard to see on camera this particular chassis that i made says kr cross guard over here in arabesh uh solo sabers over here for me and then you've got a 28 millimeter smokers outpost elite speaker back here um profi board there it is uh, easy access to your micro usb but you'll need to lift up the board to get to your SD card and you can just pop it up like that. Uh, this does not have any art tape around it because it was a nice snap fit down into the shelf, but it has a place for some art tape in the future. If you find that you need to hold that battery or that board down, if you keep popping it up and down and it loses some of that firmness in the snap fit, um, you've got a removable battery set up here. So this, uh, this battery cradle is for a 21700, which will go out with your saber. Uh, this this guy right here, so you get the maximum amount of runtime. What else do we got? Um, let's just go ahead and throw a battery in it and get right to testing. You're still holding on. Let go. Two sound fonts from uh, Kasith, right? You've got a TROS and and the Rise of Skywalker fonts on here, I believe. But uh, those are the two I put on. Um, unstable red blades. And then I gave you a delayed ignition. So what you want to do, there's a J-lock system right there on the handle. You can see that right here. So you just come in straight in, push it in, and then turn your handle clockwise like that. And then we'll come back over here and put the wire back in so it doesn't look like it was ever cut, basically like that, right? So you've got um you've got motion controls. You got all your LEDs firing off. This thing is super loud. Auxiliary. You can twist off. Or you could hit the upper activation. And hit it again to turn it off. Uh, before I put the blades in, if I hold it like this, you can tell that the main blade will fire off before the quillion. So you got that little bit of delayed ignition. Again. Just like that. Uh, we'll throw a main blade in here. The main blade um, is a one inch diameter. And then as you know, the two side blades are seven eighths. We'll just lock this down. The nice thing about this particular KR cross guard that came to me um, and that saved me a lot of time in doing it was because your holes in here went straight through there, drilled and tapped all the way through down to the blade socket. So um, it was nice. I didn't have to take these apart and do that. I am down one seven eighths inch blade right now. I have to remake it. Um, these were tested outside of the blade. They work fine, um, but I don't have a seven eighths blade to throw in here right now. So we'll just have to test the main one.
Well, this thing is a, a very solid. I got rid of the wobbliness that you will hear a lot on, on this particular brand um, that happens up here. So I locked all that down for you. I locked everything down. Uh, there's going to be a third screw that comes into this saber that comes with this saber when it comes to you. It goes right here. That's the one that you screw in tight when the handle's on and it locks everything down. Uh, I don't have it on right now just for the sake of this demo, but I'll put it back on before I send it back out. You, you don't want to take off the side ones though. Uh, because they stay in to to assist in that J-lock with the handle and then there's also a, a, a one metal coupler in here that they uh, hold in place so you don't want to take those out the blade lock up Go lock up. Just like that, and we'll take the blade out and then go over taking the battery out. It's uh, very easy to do. We just want to go in reverse, right? So we'll come over here and pop this wire out again, twist our handle counterclockwise, and pull it straight out. And then from the uh, positive side of the battery, which is over here by the speaker, you can come over here with your finger and pop the battery out just like that. Um, and that is pretty much your saber. Uh, let me know if you got any questions. And um, if not, this guy will go out in the mail to you Monday morning. All right. Thanks.